friends, welcome. Today, we are going to study a French short story, The Necklace. Written by Guy de Maupassant. About the text. This is a story about Mathilde's social ambition, which takes the form of a desire to acquire luxurious objects that she cannot afford. Through her ruin, the author warns against the dangers of greed. The story gives the message to be happy with what you have. Warming up. Talking about myself. My dream possession. Summary. Mathilde Loiselle, a middle-class girl who desperately wishes she were wealthy. She's got good looks and charm but had the bad luck to be born into a family of clerks who marry her to another clerk in the Department of Education. Mathilde is so convinced that she is meant to be rich that she hates her real life and spends all day dreaming and desperate about the luxurious life she's not having. She dreams of footmen, feasts, fancy furniture, and strings of rich young men to seduce. One day Mr. Loisel comes home with an invitation by his boss, the Minister of Education. But Mathilde's first reaction is to throw an invitation because she doesn't have anything nice to wear. Mr. Loisel doesn't know what to do, and offers to buy his wife a dress, so long as it's not too expensive. Mathilde asks for 400 francs, and he agrees. Now she has no jewels. So Mr. Loisel suggests she go see her friend Madame Forestier, a rich woman who can probably lend her something. Mathilde meets Madame Forestier, and borrows a gorgeous diamond necklace. With the necklace, she's sure to be a stunner. The day of the party arrives. Mathilde is a success. She is prettier than all the other women, elegant, gracious, smiling and full of joy. In short, she is floating in a cloud of happiness. They left the party at 4 a.m. and catch a cab and head home. But once back at home, Mathilde makes a horrifying discovery, the diamond necklace is gone. Mr. Loiselle spends all of the next day, and even the next week, searching the city for the necklace, but, finds nothing. It's gone. So he and Mathilde decide they have no choice but to buy Madame Forestier a new necklace. Unfortunately, it's 36,000 francs, which is exactly twice the amount of all the money Mr. Loiselle has to his name. So M. Loiselle goes massively into debt and buys the necklace. After 10 years, all the debts are finally paid, one Sunday Mathilde is out for walk. There she comes across Madame Forestier, rich and beautiful as ever. Mathilde decides to tell Madame Forestier the sad story of the necklace and her 10 years of poverty and she does. At that point, Madame Forestier, shocks, reveals to Mathilde that the necklace she lost was just a fake. It was worth only 500 francs. New Words, Part 1 Marginal Questions, Part 1 1. Why was Mathilde married to a minor official? Mathilde was married to a minor official because she was born in a family of clerks and she does not have any means to get married to an aristocrat. 2. Why did Mathilde weep with misery after visiting her schoolmate? Mathilde wept with misery after visiting her schoolmate because she envied her friend for possessing all the luxuries of life that she did not have. 3. 
What did the envelope hold? The envelope held an invitation by the Minister of Education and M. George's Rampown, requesting the company of Mr. and Madam Loisel at the Ministry, on January 18th in the evening. 4. Was the husband a considerate person? How do we know that? Yes, the husband was a considerate person. We know that from his selfless actions and kind behavior. He had been saving money for himself, so that he could buy a gun for hunting but he gave all his saving to her wife to buy a new dress. 5. Why did Matilda go her friend's house and tell her of her distress? Matilda went to her friend's house and told her of her distress because she wanted to share her problems with a friend in order to get some help. 6. What did Madame Forestier's large box contain? Madame Forestier's large box contained some bracelets, a pearl necklace, other jewelry and black stain box containing a superb diamond necklace. 7. Why did Matilda not notice the loss of her necklace earlier? Matilda did not notice the loss of her necklace because she was happy and was lost in the glamour of the party. Workshop Who said to whom? Write a few lines about what Matilda had and what she dreamt about. Matilda lived in a shabby, poorly furnished house. She had plain dresses and no jewels, as it was difficult to afford those. She dreamt of a rand, palatial mansion, with vast rooms and inviting smaller rooms perfumed of afternoon chats with close friends. She wanted to be envied and sought after. Write what you think about the following thoughts and actions of Matilda. Matilda was beautiful and so she wanted to marry an aristocrat. Matilda wished that her beauty would guarantee that she would marry a rich aristocrat. Matilda was sad because she did not get any luxuries. Matilda was so convinced that she was meant to be rich that she detested her real life. Matilda felt that her house was shabby and poorly furnished. Matilda dreamt of living in a palatial mansion with vast rooms and therefore hated her comparatively small and shabby house. Matilda wanted other people to envy her. Matilda wanted to be the center of attraction and wished that others would be attracted to her and would envy her. Matilda was not happy to see the invitation. Matilda wanted to be the center of attraction at the event and wanted to be so well dressed that she would be the most sought after. Matilda wanted a new dress for herself. Matilda was quite selfish not to consider that her husband had been saving money to buy a hunting gun and yet she wanted it to buy a new dress for just a party. Matilda borrowed a diamond necklace from her friend and wore it to the party. Matilda wanted to look good at all coast and therefore did not think twice before borrowing a necklace from her friend. Matilda lost the necklace. Matilda was so engrossed in the party that she carelessly didn't notice the loss of the necklace. Determiners. The words which are used at the beginning of a noun phrase are known as determiners. For example, the necklace, an error, all these things. Another woman, one evening, her husband. Observe and study the following types of determiners.
New Words Part 2 Marginal Questions 1. What efforts did Loiselle make to find the necklace? To find the necklace, Loiselle traced the entire route back to the party venue. He went to the police, to the newspapers, to offer a reward, to the cab companies, and everywhere where the tiniest glimmer of hope led him to. 2. What is implied in allow pale figure who looks tired, sleepy, hungry and weak? 3. Explain glimmer of hope, sick with grief and anguish. Glimmer of hope a small sign of hope or chance of success. Sick with grief and anguish. To be extremely tensed, worried, scared. 4. What was the arrangement with the jeweler? Do you think it was fair? The arrangement with the jeweler was that he would take the diamond necklace back for 34,000 francs. If Forestier's necklace was found before the end of February, it was fair deals, as the jeweler had already reduced the price, and ready to take it back. 5. Why did Madame Forestier speak coldly to Mathilde? Forestier spoke coldly to Mathilde because Mathilde returned her necklace after more than a week. 6. What is meant by the horrible life of the very poor? It means struggles of a poverty-stricken life, which Monsieur and Madame Loiselle had to endure to repay the loans that they had taken to buy the diamond necklace. 7. What contrast is implied by the use of the word still and still young, still beautiful, still charming? The contrast of Mrs. Forestier's beauty and Mathilda's now worn out beauty. 8. Why did Mathilda decide to speak to her friend? Mathilda decided to speak to her friend because she felt that there was nothing to hide anymore since the debt was finally paid off. 9. Who do you think was responsible for Mathilda's misery? Was it her friend, she herself, her husband or the circumstances? Mathilda herself and her circumstances were responsible of her misery. She dreamt and desired something that she could not have. Her blind greed and unfavorable circumstances led her to misery. Part 2 Workshop Complete the following table. Dot right. What you think about the following thoughts and actions of Mathilde. A. Mathilde despaired over the loss of her necklace. Mathilde despaired over the loss of her friend's necklace. Because of her carefree celebration at the party, it was expensive and she has to return it to her friend, Madame Forestier, I think. Mathilde was feeling guilty over the loss of the necklace. B. Mathilde wrote a note to her friend, as dictated by her husband. Mathilde wrote a note to her friend, as dictated by her husband so they could get time to search for the necklace. I think they should have told the truth to her friend. C. Mathilde and her husband decided to replace the necklace. Mathilde and her husband decided to replace the necklace as they couldn't find it. I think they would have told her friend and assured to give it back soon. D. Mathilde returned the diamond necklace to her friend. Mathilde returned the diamond necklace to her friend as it belonged to her and she had only borrowed it. I think, Mathilde had done the right by doing so. E. Mathilde did not tell her friend about the loss and replacement. Mathilde did not tell her friend about the loss and replacement to hide her irresponsibleness. I think she would have told the truth to her friend about the loss of the necklace. F. 
Mathilde worked very hard to pay the debt. Mathilde worked very hard to pay the debt to replace the her friend's necklace. I think, it was Mathilde's honesty to not give up and to help her husband to repay the loans for 10 years. G. Mathilde and her husband paid off the debt in 10 years. Mathilde and her husband paid off the debt in 10 years as the huge loan to pay for the diamond necklace. It took long time to be repaid by the minimal income of La Wazelle. I think, it showed their honesty to pay their debt. H. Mathilde told her friend about the lost necklace. Mathilde told her friend about the lost necklace because she felt that there was nothing to hide anymore since the debt was paid off. I think, this could give her some relief after 10 years unspeakable hardships. Imagine what must have happened after Mathilde's friend discovered that the diamonds were real. Do you think she would return the necklace to Mathilde? Would that make Mathilde happy? When Mathilde's friend found out that the diamonds were real, she would return it to Mathilde because she knew Mathilde and her husband had suffered a lot due to the necklace. Mathilde would be happy and grateful to Madame Forestier for returning the necklace. Mathilde could sell the necklace to get her money back. Discuss the following and write about each in your own words in 5-6 lines. 1. What would you do, if something like this happens to you? I would firstly confess my mistake to my friend and I would do my best to find the thing. If I don't find it, I would apologize and I will try to replace it or pay back the money for it. 2. What opinion do you form about Mathilda's husband from her story? Mathilda's husband was a very supportive and loving person. Though he did not earn much, he wanted to give the best to his wife and tried to fulfill all the wishes. Discuss the following and write about each in your own words in 5-6 lines. 1. What would you do, if something like this happens to you? I would firstly confess my mistake to my friend and I would do my best to find the thing. If I don't find it, I would apologize and I will try to replace it or pay back the money for it. 2. What opinion do you form about Mathilda's husband from her story? Mathilda's husband was a very supportive and loving person. Though he did not earn much, he wanted to give the best to his wife and tried to fulfill all the wishes. 3. Which events in the story, part 1 and 2, changed Mathilda's life? When Mathilda and her husband receive an invitation to a party. When she lent a diamond necklace by her friend. When she lost the necklace. When they lost whatever they had to repay all the loans.